Okay, take a look at this, this problem. We're going to find the volume of carbon dioxide gas at standard and temperature and pressure, which is produced when 50 grams of sodium bicarbonate is decomposed. So what's the first thing we need to do? Write a balanced chemical equation. So let's do that. We're going to write the formula for sodium bicarbonate. Okay, and it's going to decompose to make sodium carbonate and carbon dioxide gas and water. Okay, so there's our there's our products. Notice so we've got two sodiums here. We need two sodiums on this side. So we'll stick a two right there. That gives me two hydrogens. Conveniently, we have two hydrogens. Gives me two carbons. Here's one carbon. Here's second carbon. We've got six oxygens. Here we've got three. Here we've got two. That's five. Here we've got one more. That's six. So there is our balanced chemical equation. Okay, notice that we're going to have start with 50 grams of sodium bicarbonate and we're looking for the volume of carbon dioxide. So let's fill that into our equation over here. We've got 50 grams of sodium bicarbonate and we're looking for the volume so that's going to be in liters of carbon dioxide. So what do we do next? Well, we need, since coefficients only tell me about moles, we need to apply the coefficients to the number of moles of sodium carbonate and the number of moles of carbon dioxide. So the first step then is to convert to moles of sodium bicarbonate. Then we're going to use that to find moles of carbon dioxide. That's going to be our second step. And then the third step is to convert from moles of carbon dioxide to liters of carbon dioxide. So everything comes in threes. We've got first line, our balanced chemical equation, Second line, what we're given and what we're looking for. Third line is the line for the moles. Moles of what we're given, the moles of what we're looking for. Okay, first thing we're going to do next is we're going to go with our 50 grams. So we got 50 grams of NaHCO3 and we're going to convert that to moles. So we need to multiply by a conversion factor that has grams of sodium bicarbonate on the bottom and one mole of sodium bicarbonate on top and we need the molar mass of sodium bicarbonate which we'll find right here. Sodium bicarbonate is 23 grams for the sodium, 1 for the hydrogen, 12 for the carbon, and 3 oxygens is 3 times 16 or 48 for the oxygens. We add that up, we get 84 grams per mole. So we've got 84 grams for our molar mass. So when we multiply, we're going to take 50 and divide it by 84. So we're going to start off here with 50 grams and we're going to multiply, divide that by 84 and that gives me 0.595 moles which we'll stick up here 0.595 moles. Now how are we going to get from moles of sodium bicarbonate two moles of carbon dioxide. Look at the mole ratio. To get from two to one, we're going to multiply by one half. So we're going to multiply here by one half 
and so we want half as many moles of sodium bicarbonate as we actually have. So we've got 0.595. We're going to divide that by 2. So we get 0.298. 0.298 moles of carbon dioxide. Do I see that right there? 0.298 moles of carbon dioxide. Then what? Well, we're going to convert that back to liters. So we've got 0 0.298 moles of carbon dioxide. Convert that. We need moles on the bottom. And we need liters on the top and one mole is 22.4 liters and so now we do the math there's our 0.298 it's multiplied by 22.4 and we get 6.67 6.67 liters of carbon dioxide and there's our answer